What's up guys, Coach Jack here, back with another tutorial, and this one is all about tempo. Now, stick with me here. If you're a regular on Trainer Hub, you will notice that almost all of our movements are done slowly. So we're not moving quickly or firing through any reps, all right? There are some movements that require explosiveness and like swings, for example, kettlebell swings or jumps, things like that require explosiveness. But for most of our movements, we wanna be moving slowly. So slowly on the portion of the movement when the muscles are stretching, and then quickly on the contraction. And the reason for this is that you're going to elicit more out of your muscles. You're going to recruit more muscle fibers and get more out of, the each, rep, out of each rep by moving slowly. So for example, okay, with a deadlift, if I move through a rep like this, is that harder or is this harder? Obviously the one in which we're going slower and holding the weight for longer is going to be harder. But not only that, bringing in tension to the stretching of the muscles on the elongation portion of the movement. So the, when, when the muscles are stretching, when we're feeling that, we're going slow. We're go, like I said, we're going to recruit more muscle fibers and get more out of the movement. Okay. So tempo, if you ever see tempo, this is the technical term for how fast you should move through a rep. And there's four numbers associated with it. It's the first number is associated with the elongation portion or the lengthening of the muscle. Okay. So in a deadlift, it's on the way down. The second number is the hold at the bottom, okay? The third number is the contraction. And then the fourth number is the hold at the contraction, okay? So you can see how by making one rep longer, you can make a whole set and a whole exercise harder. So every time you're going through one of our workouts, I want you to think about slowing down when the muscles are lengthening and then contracting quickly on what, when you're squeezing the muscles. So again, if you don't know this, we're going to be getting more into more tutorials with our membership, but think about it like this. The lengthening of the muscle is when you want to go slow and when you're contracting or squeezing the muscle, you want to go fast. Give that a try. See if your workouts aren't a little bit harder because that's what we want to get more out of our workouts and make our training more efficient. Happy training.